Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Last weekend, guys, didn't do any AMA because I had a food poisoning or something and it was really bad. I need, like I was only sitting on the toilet. You don't want to know the colors that I saw on the toilet. Terrible colors. <laughs> it was like, oh no, I have never felt that shitty before. I think it was from sushi. I ate some sushi and it made me really feel bad today. Still a little bit recovering, but I couldn't not make a video. So here I am on the beach in Phuket, Thailand, making a beautiful video with four amazing Bitcoin jars. Yes, of course, a trading tip, a travel tip, of course, some live advice and talking about the news because there's something special happening to Bitcoin that most of people you don't know yet, but you should know. So you should investigate it. Do your own research after the thing that I'm going to talk about in the news. Let's jump quickly into the first part of the videos, the charts. This is the first shot today, guys, an uh, on-chain value map. You can see the Bitcoin price, which is the pinkish line with the all-time highs. These are these uh, blue dots. And we can see when we are heavily overvalued, if we touch that top uh, red line, we can also see when we are undervalued, that's that light bluish area, or heavily undervalued, there's this light, light bluish area, guys. Now, we already left that heavy undervalued uh, level we crawled we crawled into that undervalued level and now we are nearing the fair value that's that green midline that green midline that green dotted midline is the fair value so bitcoin is nearing the fair value price now look to the left on the chart to whenever we came near to that beautiful fair value line that green line in the middle what happened look to 2015 when we came near to that green line that is when the huge bull market started. Look now to the previous uh, bull market. When we came to that green line, that is when the bull market started. We are again nearing that green fair value line. Do you really expect that we are going to completely do something different than the previous two times? In my honest opinion, the huge bull market is soon getting started. Start to accumulate more Bitcoin now before the halving of 2024. Then we have this chart. This is showing you the drawdowns and the rallies. Because yes, everyone is always saying Bitcoin is volatile. And yes, I agree, Bitcoin is volatile. But it all depends how people look at the charts, but also probably at life. The glass can be half full or the glass can be half empty. A lot of negative people would say, yeah, but the all-time high was 70K. You're almost 50% down below the all-time high. Yes, that's true. And other people might say, Wow, the bear market bottom was 16K. We are more than 100% higher than that bear market bottom. So it all depends how you look at the market. But if you now look to the drawdowns and rallies now, from all these assets on the charts, there is only one asset that is massively outperforming all the others. Look to the almost last part where you see BTC. Yes, the drawdown was 42%. And yes, we are now 132% above the bottom. So do you see any other green line outperforming Bitcoin? The SPX, do you see any of them? Gold, the US, Global Hedge, US dollar, none of them. None of them is making the results that Bitcoin is making. 130 percent from a two-year high to two-year low guys yes if you compare bitcoin to the previous all-time high ah, we are minus 42 percent but if you compare bitcoin to the previous low we are up with 132 percent it all depends on how you look at the charts for me the glass is half full i bought back the bottom and yes i'm in a load of profit so that's how it works in bitcoin chart is going to show this a little bit more clear you can see all the correction drawdowns in every bull market as you can see these drawdowns are this bull market a little bit less but that's also indicating we're just at the beginning of that huge bull market look to that beautiful blue area the blue line that was a 2017 bull market and then the blue bars on the top that were the drawdowns for the 2016-17 bull market i think this bull market is going to be a copy of that one the max drawdown in that bull market was 36%. The max drawdown in the previous bull market, this green one, was 
but that was the COVID crash. At the moment, we have a max drawdown of 20%. So that looks like the beginning of that blue area, 2015, 2016. Small drawdowns and then crawling up to 30%, even 36% drawdowns. I believe this bull market is going to be a copy of that 2015 to 17 bull market. I believe in the next two years, we're going to see beautiful runs, but also beautiful pullbacks from 20 to 30%. Always do your own research. If you want to analyze the chart a little more, then pause the video. I'm going to go to the next chart. That is this one, a very beautiful chart that is showing you that even if you would have started dollar cost averaging at the ultimate high of 2021, so if you started to buy daily Bitcoin from that moment all the way till now, you would now still be over 50% in profit. And that is showing you what I mean with dollar cost averaging. These people started buying at the highest level ever, around 70,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And they started to buy, for example, $5 worth of Bitcoin every day since then. And because they started to buy $5 worth of Bitcoin every day since then, their capital is now 50% in profit. Because you dollar cost average. And by dollar cost averaging daily, you would have now an average paid $26,830 per Bitcoin. The Bitcoin price is above 40K. So that's why we would be 50% in profit now on the total investment. Your cost base would be $26,830 if you would have dollar cost average 753 days into Bitcoin since the previous all-time high. And if you understand this, that even those people are now in profit, then you should definitely understand that if you start a dollar cost average now, just after the bear market, you will definitely be in profit in a couple of years. You would be in a shitload of profits. These people started to buy Bitcoin at the most expensive day possible in history of Bitcoin, and they kept buying, and even they are in profit. If you start to buy Bitcoin now, at these low levels of Bitcoin, and you will keep buying, you will be in a shitload of profit within the next couple of years, guys. Beautiful chart. Also, the last chart for the day. Let's jump into the next part. I hope you really enjoyed these charts, guys. Yes, of course, it's always the same story, but it is the same story. You should be buying Bitcoin. It's simple as that. We are in the pre-phase of a huge bull market to come. We are just in front of the halving in April 2024. If you look back in the past, Every and each halving has propelled Bitcoin into massive heights we never seen before. Why are you still doubting? This is still the moment you accumulate Bitcoin at a cheap price. Yes, and maybe, worst case scenario, you only double your capital. I don't think doubling your capital in one and a half year is that bad. I don't think there is any bank giving you that guarantee to give you a double of your capital in one and a half year probably negative interest or something, but I don't know what they are doing nowadays. So for me, it's very simple. When it comes to Bitcoin, I'm going to repeat it one more time. You need to zoom out, look at the bigger picture and zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day. That is the way you play the Bitcoin play. Buy Bitcoin, dollar cost average, as you saw on this chart. Even the people that started to dollar cost average at the highest price ever. And they kept buying Bitcoin daily or weekly. Even they are now in a massive profit. So if they are in a massive profit, while well, they start to accumulate Bitcoin at the highest price ever, around 70K, you will definitely be in profit if you start to accumulate Bitcoin now around the lowest price. That's how simple it is. Let's jump into the... Wow, big wave. Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is a very simple but powerful one. Just stick to one system. Don't be hopping from that system to another system to another system. If you have a certain system in trading, a certain strategy, whatever that strategy might be, then keep to that strategy. If you have one unsuccessful trade or two unsuccessful trades or three unsuccessful trades or three unsuccessful trades with that system, it doesn't mean the system is wrong. That system is there so you steadily trade the same way every time again and again. And probably the next couple of trades will be in profit. Because if you backtested the system for the last couple of years, for example, 
and the system has been proven to be right every time again, then why would you doubt because you have a couple of losses? It's very simple. If you want to start to use a system, guys, then um, and you want to back test it first, open an Excel sheet, put all your buy and sell orders in this Excel sheet that you would do accordingly that system, and then calculate for yourself, would that system bring you profit or loss? And if you want to have a little bit more confidence, then do this on two years or three years or four years. Yes, it is a little bit of work, but yes, you will get confident in your system. And that is why you don't need to abandon the system every time when you have one trade in loss. There is not one trader in this world that's going to make 100% of the trades in profit. There will always be losses. The power is in the fact that those losses are smaller than your winners. So you need to have big winners, small losses. And that's why you use a stop loss. And that's also why you use a system. You so the systems would be buying when this, this, and this happens. Your system. We have it a Bitcoin family setup. We use a system with a triple confirmation. And we say, if we see this triple confirmation, that is the moment we buy. If we see the triple confirmation in a sell, that is the moment we sell. A very simple system. But we need to stick to the system to be able to keep making profits. Because if you don't stick to the system, it's very difficult because then you're going from here to there, from here to there, and that won't be a successful trader strategy. So the trading tip for the day, stick to one system. Let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip will make your life a little bit more cheaper because the travel tip for today is make advantage of all the free walking tours in cities. Every big city you go to, they have a free walking tour do those free walking tours. Those free walking tours will guide you through the whole city, give you tips and tricks of that city and even the places where to eat, the bars where to go to have a dance. So do these free walking tours. It's always for free. Every big city has them, a free walking tour. You learn a lot of things. It's a lot of fun because mostly you meet a lot of people. And three, the guide can give you a good guidance on how to act in that city and what to do in that city. And please never forget to tip the guide. It's a free walking tour, but don't be like a free cheap guy that doesn't want to give a small tip to the guide because the guide is only earning money because of you tipping him. So travel tip for the day, use free walking tours to explore any city around the world, but never forget to tip the guide. Let's jump into the next part. Turning around to the next part, guys, the news. I'm going to keep it short but powerful today. I still, I'm still not completely well, guys. Uh, the news for today is that I read an article on Cointelegraph that the BRC20 tokens are becoming more popular and popular every day. What is a BRC20 token? You all probably know what an ERC20 token is. An ERC20 token is a token built on the Ethereum blockchain. A BRC20 token is a token built on the Bitcoin blockchain. That wasn't possible on the Bitcoin blockchain before, but since the Taproot update in November 2021, it is possible. And now, finally, they are getting traction a little bit. Of course, you all heard about the ordinals, which is like the NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain. So every set can have an ordinal tied into it. Um, yeah, that was popular, but like it's not as popular as the NFTs yet. But now these BRC20 tokens are getting a little bit more traction. As you can see, the volume increasing tremendously. So these are tokens built on the Bitcoin blockchain, which of course could be better than the Ethereum blockchain because the Bitcoin blockchain is still the best blockchain out there. And now when these people start to understand that they can build tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain, slowly more and more people will start to do that and more liquidity will again go into the Bitcoin blockchain instead of all the other blockchains like Ethereum, for example. Now the beautiful part of this is that soon probably also a stable coin will be created on the Bitcoin blockchain. And that is going to change the complete industry, in my honest opinion, because stable coins on a decentralized blockchain like Bitcoin is, of course, completely different than a stable coin on a centralized blockchain, like, for example, Ethereum. For me, that new possibility to build tokens on Bitcoin, yes, we are still completely in the beginning, but for me, this is going to be a very big driver for the next bull run, in my honest opinion. I think a lot of liquidity is going to go into these new possibilities to create tokens now on the Bitcoin blockchain, guys. So I just want you guys to be prepared for this. So if I were you, I would start to do some research after all these beautiful possibilities now also on the Bitcoin blockchain, like ordinals, 
but also like BRC20 tokens, because maybe you want to even create your own token. Play around with the BRC20 tokens, guys. I've already created two tokens, like a whew, couple of months, or maybe already a year ago. I parked them over there. I don't know what to do with them yet. I don't have a use case yet, but I'm coming up with a use case. One of the tokens is called BFAM, and the other token is called Didi. So let's see what we can do with those tokens, guys. But just giving you a heads up, but just giving you a heads up, there's this new, beautiful, playful thing that you can now use on the Bitcoin blockchain, and it's creating tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain and also creating NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain. So for this bull market, please keep an eye on ordinals and BRC20 tokens. That was the news for today. Let's jump into the next part. Next part, guys, is the question of one of the followers. One of the followers was asking in Dutch, as you can see here, um, Didi, if you travel all over the world, he's uh, trying to go to Lombok and, in Indonesia, can I then still keep my local Dutch uh, travel insurance or health insurance? When I started traveling, it was still possible to keep your Dutch health insurance for two years. At the moment, I heard that's not possible anymore. So the moment you leave the Netherlands, you need to give up your Dutch health insurance. But luckily, there is way better health insurances than that Dutch one. For example, we as a family have been using Safety Wing now already for more than four years. Perfect insurance, health insurance. It's not a travel insurance. A lot of people always say, Didi, but that's a travel insurance. No, it is a health insurance. It does cover all the stuff that you need to have covered that also your normal Dutch insurance covers. The only thing that the Safety Wing insurance doesn't fully cover the basic safety wing insurance is cancer treatment. But if you take the more advanced safety wing insurance, then also cancer treatments are included, guys. So for me, safety wing is the best digital nomad insurance out there. We as a family trust it fully. We have been using it now for more than four years. And every time, guys, when we have something to declare, we just declare it. And yes, it also is always nicely paid to us, guys. So beautiful insurance safety wing. Um, if you want more information, then click the link down below the video. On that link, you will find the website and there you will find all that safety wing has to offer for you. Also remote work, also remote teams for complete companies. They have a lot of beautiful offers for everyone out there, guys. So. Safety Wing, the insurance for me. Go down below, click the link, and sign up to that insurance because it's way better than the VGZ from the Netherlands. <laughs> now, let's jump into the next part, guys. And the next part, guys, is the last part of the video. It's the inspirational part. I'm really still feeling a little bit tired. Sorry that it's gonna be a shorter video than normally, guys. The inspirational part is very simple. You need to push yourself because no one else is gonna do it for you. That's how I felt this morning as well. I needed to push myself to get out of bed, to make this video, because I was still not feeling optimal and nobody was there to push me and tell me, you should do it. I feel the need for myself. I'm gonna go out there, I push myself to record this video because I love to make this content. And then I'm thinking, I'm just, and then I'm fixed, and then I'm just switching my mindset like Didi, just go out, have a beautiful beach walk, go and create that content because you know you love it. Maybe that gives you a little bit more positive energy after that uh, food poisoning, and maybe you feel better afterwards. And to be very honest, since I'm walking the beach, I, I am feeling a little bit better. The fresh air, the sound of the waves, the bikinis, all of that stuff will make you feel better. So you need to push yourself because no one is gonna do it for you. And that counts for everything in life. Don't try to depend on other people. Don't try to depend on other people's opinion. Don't try to depend on other people's help. Don't try to depend on other people telling you what to do. You need to push yourself to do all of this stuff. You need to push yourself to start trading bit. You need to push yourself to start buying Bitcoin. You need to push yourself to start waking up early in the morning, walk the beach instead of being on your telephone. It's all about you. The moment you start to realize that you're the responsible one for your life, you will start to push yourself to have a more beautiful life. And the moment you start to push yourself more and more and more, you will start to enjoy your life a little bit more and more and more. And in the end, you don't even realize anymore that you were the one that started to push yourself to change your complete life. So if you want to change, guys, it all starts with you pushing yourself into the right direction, guys was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about everything else yes also whew, i was a little bit too sick 
and now I'm better again. Beautiful, because of the beach. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again.